Okay, just a second. There we go. You can watch it just like it was one of the interrogation rooms, only better. Thanks. How's it better? It's technology. Hey, Carter. Red. My parents have agreed to let Paul speak to her alone. What's this? Prize at the bottom of a cereal box, and by cereal box, I mean death pool. They tell me it's a fish gutting knife. Brutal, huh? Theodore Bunch. They call you Ted? Teddy. Huh. Danny, myself. Didn't much like it when I was a kid. I wanted to be called Daniel, but Danny stuck. Am I under arrest? I don't know. Why would you even ask that, Teddy? Probably need a lawyer, right? You haven't been charged with anything, have you? I didn't do anything. Good, so you won't mind answering a couple questions. I could use a drink. Huh. Afraid that's gonna have to wait. So, can you, uh, can you tell me about Henry? Henry was a little kid. Nora likes to play with little kids sometimes, but I don't very much. Yeah, Nora, is she your friend? Best friend. Nora's a year older than me, but she's in my grade. She had to do kindergarten twice. Can you, um, can you tell me about your groundskeeper, Teddy Bunch? He's not our groundskeeper. He cleans some of the pools, but not ours. He drinks liquor. He's skeevy. All the kids in the neighborhood love me. Ask anyone. How about Henry Olson? Oh, yeah, Henry. Yeah, no, he was kind of quiet. I didn't know him that well. So if I were to get a warrant to search your place, I wouldn't find any little eight-year-old fingerprints there, right? Well, I mean, there was, there was one time. I mean, yeah. Yeah, sure, Henry been in my, in my place before. I mean, lots of kids have. I mean, not lots. I, just, I didn't... Just Henry was... I don't think he had too many friends, so he just would stop by sometimes, you know? No, no, no. I don't get a lot of drop-ins from eight-year-olds. He got lonely. He's the kind of kid who... He got bullied, okay? I can tell from looking at you, you wouldn't get that, I do. Where were you last night? I was home. Alone? Yeah. You hear or see anything strange? Yes. What? I saw Henry running out of Teddy Bunch's house. Henry was crying. And you're sure that it was Teddy's house that you saw Henry coming out of? Well, it's not really his house. He just gets to live there because of his job. Do you remember what time it was? It was after 10 at night. Where were you this morning? I was asleep. I was in bed when the pounding on my door started. Now, Madison, where were you when you saw all of this? I don't want to say. Jeff Hahn and Marcus St. Clair come barging in. Must have had a key. Huh. Probably got it from Marcus's wife, Tessa. She's president of the homeowners. She doesn't like me much. Can I just not say? You think maybe that's because you sleep half the day when you're supposed to be working? No, honey, you, you have to tell me. I had kind of a rough night last night, that's all. Yeah, so did Henry Olson. Even rougher morning. I was in the treehouse. I'm not allowed to be up there by myself after dark. I know I should have said something, but I didn't want to get in trouble, and now Henry's dead, and it's all my fault. It's not my fault. I want my mommy. I want a lawyer. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm back. Show's over. I want a lawyer. Gee, and here I was expecting a full confession. Well, our eyewitness puts Bunch with the victim well after 10 last night. Nice. We'll be able to hold him. How will she fare in front of a judge? Uh, she'll do well. She's smart, she's cute, a little precocious. And she's a liar. I never get tired of that part. Right, so she was crying. She thought she was in trouble. What if the whole thing was an act? What are you saying? 
You think she's willing to ruin a man's life? For what? A little attention? Why not? I mean, she certainly got it. She's 10. She has no concept of consequences. Remember McMartin? Hey, the kids at McMartin were pushed to say those things. You see me do that with Madison? No, but I got a little mommy and daddy. You don't know what they pushed her to say. Was that her mother hanging around the break room? Yeah. My mom, she a piece of work, kept complaining the coffee was decaf. Decaf? Decaf. Who keeps making decaf? Is it know. Davis? Maybe. I can't believe he keeps switching. I told he, him there was He always switches. Sorry, sir. Yeah, I'm just... I'm gonna go. Whatever, even if the kid was fibbing doesn't mean Bunch is innocent. Unless she's covering for the real killer. The real killer? Who might that be? I don't know. Well, let me help you out. The real killer is Teddy Loves Kids a Bunch. Bunch, he's our guy. He doesn't have a record. We can't link him to the knife. No, it was in the water. Water that ate away all trace evidence. The chlorine content in that water was six times what it should have been. I guess who's in charge of the maintenance? So we can arrest him for being a crappy pool boy? Doesn't mean he did it. Well, let's just let him go then. Wait till he walks back in here with a toddler on a stick. We're not letting anybody go. We've got him for 24 hours until we have to give him to a federal magistrate. It's time enough to make your case. Agent Locke. Yeah. A word. So you think that the child is our killer? I never said that. You don't think she's our killer? I'm considering all possibilities. No, you aren't. You're convinced Madison St. Clair sliced open her playmate. Why? See what was inside? Agent Locke, why do you think that? Do you have any evidence to support that theory? No, not at the moment. A gut instinct, huh? Well, it might be something you ate, or it might be something eating you. Tell me, how old were you when you were abducted? I was 10. The same age as Madison St. Clair. And you don't think it's possible that your experience is clouding your judgment, that you see something of yourself in her? No. I don't see myself when I look at her. I see the man who took me. You see a sociopath. Fine. Pursue it. At the very least, the little girl probably is lying. That's what children do. You have the same 24 hours to make your case as your colleagues. Are you pitting us against each other? Yeah. People just keep sending over food. Why do you suppose they do that? I guess the thinking is after a loss, you won't feel like cooking. Cooking? I don't feel like eating. Most of this is going to spoil. I thought I'd start freezing it. W will you take some with you? Sure. I'm sorry my husband isn't here. He, he went shopping for a casket. They make them child size. They're actually a little bit cheaper. I am so sorry, Mrs. Olson. I should have called. I can come back. No, I, I want to make sure that that man never gets a chance to do this to someone else's child. Yes about Teddy. The day we brought him into custody, you uh, seemed surprised, like you weren't certain, not like the others were. No. In fact, I still find it hard to believe. Why? Teddy was odd, that's true. But he was sweet. He was always so good with Henry. My son was odd, Agent Locke. He got picked on. Kevin did not deal with it, so when Teddy Bunt showed some kindness, I was grateful. I understand. No, you don't. Henry's dead because I didn't protect him. I don't believe that. That's true. I knew Henry spent time at Teddy's. I, I never told my husband. I knew he wouldn't have approved, but... You didn't do anything wrong. How can you say that? I let that monster get close to my child. Teddy Bunch didn't murder your son. What? You said he was being picked on. Are there any bullies you can tell me about? Teddy didn't do this. The bedwetting, it had gotten worse. What happened? Uh, Henry uh, changed schools. He, he went into the fourth grade. Was he coming home with bruises? Yes. Had he started going to school with Madison St. Clair? 
Why? Ellen? Are you in? Oh, hi. Sorry. Is this a bad time? 